it's Inez, and today I'm going to be making shepherd's pie. Better get started. So I've had my one pound uh, tube of ground beef. I, I like to use lean beef because uh, that way I don't have to drain out too much of the fat. And I'm going to use that fat for this recipe for flavor. So I, I've browned it already, and I'm going to take about a tablespoon maybe a little bit more. And I wanna turn it down to medium or so, medium low. Maybe like a tablespoon and a half at most. I'm just trying to coat the meat a little bit. Now I have to tell you, this is not a recipe that I found. I just kind of figured it out because um, just like with making uh, gravies and sauces, I just know that you have to use some flour, you need some, oil, uh, some fat, and then you need some stock. Now I use uh, bouillon cubes, that's my favorite, but this is kind of a sprinkle version of the bouillon cube. So I just wanna add that in here. This is two cups, but I'm not gonna put it all in just yet. I'm gonna put about a cup and a half. And you'll see why, because I want to thicken this up. And for flavoring, I want to try um, barbecue sauce. Now my husband likes the Sweet Baby Ray's, but a lot of times I just put in my own barbecue sauce, about three tablespoons or three good squirts. And so what I'm gonna do is just bring this up to a boil or a simmer, and I hope that it will thicken up nicely so I can add my vegetables. Now my vegetables are just kind of what I find in the fridge that I need to get rid of. I had a few celery stalks, I was near the end of some carrots, we always have corn, so that'll be perfect for tonight. So I added some salt and pepper, and I also added about a tablespoon or so of chopped onions. Now you can add regular onions. My family just doesn't like big onion chunks in their food. So dehydrated it is. So we're just adding um, my vegetables in here so it's nice and soupy. Um, the, it did thicken up. And so what I'm gonna do here is, you can see I didn't use all of the, the corn, I might just freeze that for another recipe, is I just kind of wanna get it going to soften up. So it's just gonna sit and simmer here, maybe about 10 minutes or so. I kinda wanna keep checking it. If it starts to lessen up in the sauce, that's where the extra stock comes in, and I just add a little bit at a time, just to make sure it's covered and it's also um, gonna uh, soften up the vegetables nicely. My house is smelling good again. I guess it's almost time for dinner. Um, so I let it come to about 10 minutes, and I turned it off, kind of let it sit there, and then when I do shepherd's pie, I think layers. So this is the meat and veggie layer, and the next we'll be working on the mashed potato layer. So I like to get as about half of this, half of my dish full, if not more. It looks like this will be just enough. Oops. So this will be great. And what I like to do is I like to put a, a, a light layer of cheese on this layer, or just a light um, sprinkling of it. And after I'm done with this, I'll get ready with um, getting my potatoes prepped for the mashed potatoes. So I'm starting on the mashed potatoes right now. And I'm just, I just clean my potatoes and I'm just chopping them up. This is not my small saucepan, it's my medium saucepan. So I'll pretty much fill this up. So I probably won't even use all these potatoes. And I'll just let it boil until they soften up and then I'll be smashing them with this. I like them with skins, my family likes them with skins, and when they're ready, I'll show you how I prep them. So my potatoes are fork tender. I don't know if you saw it, but I had about a half a cup left of this chicken stock, so I just added it to the water to boil it with the potatoes to give it some more flavor. And this part is um, my most fun and my most trying, because it's going to make a little bit of a mess just because my pan is just quite medium sized. So I put about two table or two teaspoons, palm size, if your hand's kind of bigger than mine or smaller. And don't forget some pepper, just to your liking. We love pepper in our family, so I don't think that'll be an issue. And then it's just 
to smash. Um, one of the things that I can, um, I suggest with the meat mixture is trying different vegetables. Try what you have. I Sometimes I have broccoli in the back. Sometimes I have cans of peas or green beans. All of that stuff is perfect in here. Whoa, good sake. <laughs> and so I'm just going to mix this in and add some milk and make it as as palatable as I love it. Um, I'm not, I'm just using butter and milk. I'm gonna save fancy mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving because that's coming up soon too. I've smashed them all up and I'm gonna add some milk, just a little bit at a time. Better to put a little bit at a time, mix it in, and then continue. So here it is, out of the oven. Looks delicious. Now I have to admit something. I flubbed. I added too much salt to my mashed potatoes. I don't normally uh, have chicken stock left over, and so I think it might have already salted them a little bit. So when I added the salt, it was a little too much. But I went online and figured out that you could put a little bit of garlic into um, the mashed potatoes and it's supposed to help with that and it, I think it did. So I'm pretty sure my boys won't notice only because I have a more sensitive palate than they do and they tend to put more salt on things than I do. So, But I know they'll love it. I hope you love it and thanks for visiting. Um, I do have the recipe at the end and have a great day.